There's only love for Major Wing Nang Jo in this house, but his country considers him to be a traitor. The Major's wife, Kin Mo San, has just been to see him in jail, and over a cup of tea, she's giving his elderly mum the latest news. He's losing hope, she says. Viewed as a political prisoner by many, Wing Nang Jo is one of the most difficult cases that remain. This room, uh, when you got married? Yes, my, my marriage. Four years okay. ago, and having left the army, he was accused of leaking details of highly sensitive military contacts between Myanmar and North Korea. His wife tells me he's innocent and was forced to confess after threats were made against his family. Now serving a life sentence, the major has been overlooked in all the prisoner releases so far. There were 10 political prisoners in his part of the jail serving life. When Barack Obama came to Myanmar, nine of them were released. Now it is only him left. He feels so sad and depressed. A committee has been set up to advise the government on who should be released. Wing Nang Jaw is on that list, but defining exactly what makes a prisoner political is proving difficult. Should, for example, someone who took part in the armed ethnic struggles be included? And what if they've taken part in the most awful of atrocities? This is the only picture Usain's children have of their father. Having taken part in Burma's 1988 pro-democracy uprising, he joined a student rebel group. On the front line, relations between the students tragically soured. Usain was one of those accused of being a government spy. Usain denied he was a spy, so they dug a hole in the ground and put him in the hole up to his waist and kept him there all day and night for 10 days. They were asking him questions, and when he didn't answer the way they wanted, they beat him again and again. In the end, he became unconscious and died. This man, Tan Jung, was head of the students' military command. He helped organize the execution of 15 of the suspected spies and the torturing to death of another 20, among them Usain. It was brutal, cruel and unforgiving, but activists are now arguing for Tan Jung's actions to be seen in the context of the time and want him released as a political prisoner. These are just a few of the more than a thousand political prisoners that have been released during three years of reforms. Campaigners say there are more than a hundred left, many of them with cases just as complicated as Wing Nang Jaw and Tan Jung. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Yangon.